Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 63. So yesterday I introduced you to landing pages inside of the consumer applet, and today we're actually going to create a specialized landing page, and in this case, one that you can use for open house sign-ins. So we'll walk through that entire process by starting off, clicking on the consumer applet button, the last one here on our list, we're going to create a new page. And again, we're going to choose it as a landing page and create. First thing we want to do is title that landing page so we know which one that is. So that's 2303 Gunston Court Open House Sign In. All right, so we're going to use this landing page for um, guests at our open house. So the first thing we want to do. I always recommend bringing in the branded header. If you are required to have your license number, et cetera, go ahead and bring in agent branding if you prefer. But I'm gonna bring in the branded header. The next thing I'm gonna do is bring in the lead form. And this is where people that are visitors to my open house are going to sign in. I'm then gonna bring in information about the listing itself. So this is the actual details of the listing as soon as we can figure that widget. And then we're gonna bring in the legal footer down here at the bottom. So we've got four widgets that are going to make up this specific landing page. And now we need to configure them. So configure widgets. We're going to configure the branded header to say, welcome to the open house. All right. So everything else looks good. So we're going to save and apply. And then we're going to go click on the right arrow, which will take us to the second widget. You can see we're on one of four widgets. So the right arrow takes us into the capture form widget and the only thing we can modify on this is the header text and prior to entry please register here thanks all right so we'll click on save and apply and then you can see here's their information what they're going to put in we're going to click the right arrow one more time we need to browse listings and we need to find our listing so that we can have that information and here's that listing. So we're gonna go ahead and select it. And you can see we can choose a specific image and we're just gonna choose that first one and save and apply. And now you can see that that widget has been set up. Finally, one more time, we're gonna to go to the legal footer. It should already be set up. So we'll click on save and apply. And now all four of our widgets have been completely customized for this landing page for a consumer to use when they sign in at our open house. So the next thing we're gonna do is click on publish page. It's gonna say, are you sure you want to update an active page? I'm gonna say yes, update it. And then we now have inside of our landing pages, the 2303 Gunston Court open house sign in. And you can see this URL is https pages.kw.com slash Marty Miller. This is my KWUID and then a bunch of kind of random stuff over here. If I wanna make the sense of this randomness, I can come over to the three dots and click on change URL. And then basically I can change this portion to 2303, oops, Gunston Court Open House. And I'm gonna click on create. So now I've got a couple of options. When I'm at the open house, if I'm having guests walk in and I have my laptop or my service available, I can just have this specific link open on my laptop or my surface or my desktop, whatever it may be that I have at the open house. And I can hand it to the client and say, please do me a favor and go ahead and register here. Right. And so they would come in and they would type in their first name and their last name and their email address and basically all that while I'm standing there so that I can then provide them access. Here is another thing that you can do. You can consider creating a flyer for the front door that says, please register prior to entry and then create a QR code. And you can get QR codes online pretty easily, right? So if you go to QR code generator and let's just use qr-code-generator.com, you'll see it's gonna say, enter your website. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna copy this we're going to put it here and paste it and you'll see that it's already created right this QR code and then we can download that 
and it'll be a second, right? We're gonna say, no, we don't want to register for your site. But in a second, we will get that QR code downloaded. And from there, you could then put that QR code on a flyer where the client walks up to the front door and it says, please register prior to entry. How many of us have been to a restaurant lately where we didn't have to scan a QR code? And then when they scan the QR code on their phone, they will get this same page and they would then need to sign in. Guys, here's the best part about using landing pages for open house sign-in. When they put this information in, it automatically comes into your KW Command database. So you can quickly and easily see the leads that are coming in. In addition, on the landing page, you'll see how many leads have been created from that specific landing page as well. So that's another nice way to say, yep, I had six couples come through and they all registered and here are the leads from that open house. So again, a quick and simple way to use a custom landing page. You could do this, maybe you have a first time home buyer seminar, maybe you're hosting, um, I think someone did Whiskey and Wills, right? One of my clients, uh, that's a MAPS client of mine, did a Whiskey and Wills event. They had a, a lawyer come and talk about uh, the importance of having wills. They could use that kind of a sign-in sheet, right? So it's a way just to capture information into your database without having to manually enter it later. It looks professional, it's branded to you, it's got all the information, and you can easily replicate it for, in this case, every open house that you might have. So that's a quick and easy way to create an actual landing page um, and then use it inside of your business. So that's it for today. Look forward to talking to you all again tomorrow. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as always.